So, oh, when it comes to Shannon, apparently some scenes of her were cut out that they, sh you know, shouldn't have been. Hey guys, it's Morad Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back at it again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button at Daily and Consistent. Head over to my TikTok at Morad Morali. Daily Love Island related views, um, videos over there, sorry. And let's get straight into this video. So Shannon is breaking a silence and she's speaking out. She's out of the villa, guys. And we've got to get into that as well. But beforehand, a lot of people are now assuming that she is returning into the villa because of the terms and conditions that have coincidentally been changed for Love Island, talking about how the producers can reintroduce anybody into the show. Now, I think a lot of people are forgetting that when it comes to Love Island 2017, the Islander Sam, I believe his name was, was reintroduced into the villa alongside Muggy Mike. Like both of them came back into the villa. So I feel like they have done that before they can do it again. Will they do it with Shannon? I doubt it. A lot of people are saying that they found out that she was a glamour model and doing page three and therefore wanted her out of the villa. They would have known that before she went to the villa. None of that makes any sense. They would have done their research and it's not hard to find out that she was a glamour model or was doing that page three or nude or whatever. They would have known that before and I don't think that would be a viable reason to remove somebody from a villa at all. I, I, in this, especially in this day and age. Um, I don't know why people are acting I'm not shocked about her doing all that, nor do I care for it, nor am I going to shame her for doing all that. We don't sex shame on this channel. Um, but like, I just don't think that would be a viable reason to remove somebody from the villa. Evidently, she was just removed because the game is the game, and unfortunately, she picked um, Aaron. And um, Shannon has broken her silence, and she is revealing some interesting stuff, where she has spoken about and scenes that have actually been cut off. Um, and these are apparently her sauciest scenes ever and it's just very bizarre. Um, she says, when I had to leave, I was mortified. All you've got to think about is, oh my God, what have they shown? I'm cheeky, I'm loud, I'm outgoing, and I'm definitely not shy. And that's interesting because we got everything but that. Everything all about her being, as in we got everything in relation to her being shy, sorry. But that didn't really come across. Great things happened that I thought would have got my personality out there and allowed me to shine. For example, scenes that were cut out were that me and Aaron had to do twerking and I ripped my skirt all the way up the front. We had to suck each other's fingers and look into each other's eyes, but none of that got shown. Now, I can understand that would be quite funny if I was girl got ripped and everybody was laughing. So again, it's like, why would you not show these scenes? It is 24 hours of filming and they decide whatever they put in that 60 minute episode. I'm not gonna lie and say I'm absolutely overjoyed with it. I spent two weeks in quarantine for 48 hours on the show. I'd be pissed, guys. I'd be absolutely livid. So she is not pleased at all. Shannon also said that she refused to live up to the sexy stereotype painted of her before the show started because of course she talked about, you know, being intimate many, many days of the week. But she's like, I'm not gonna chuck myself in there, all these guys, because of the work that I do. And I completely agree with that. Because of the work that she does, why does she need to play around that narrative? So some scenes were cut out of her and I feel like they were important because we didn't really see much of her and everybody thought that she was boring thought that she was shy and all this when actually she's very outgoing and we've had a few scenes i don't think those scenes are the scenes that desperately show you as not being shy <laughs> i feel like your skirt being ripped is quite funny and the other one is just the task that we all have to not, not we god forbid but that everybody had to do in that in that um villa but i can see her being upset by that because we didn't see much of her at all, and that would have shown somewhat of a different light. Let me know what your thoughts are, subscribe to the channel, head over to my TikTok, and I will catch you guys soon for another video.